I just feel lucky in life that there was one point in my life 15 years ago when I had a dream, when I had a target which I want to achieve and now I'm here. It took me 15 years. Jako mały chłopiec, Wiktor był bardzo wesoły, towarzyski. Pomagał swoim kolegom, koleżankom. My friends from the early school introduced me to the Counter Strike. First two months of playing Counter Strike, this was the most important thing for me, to be the best in Poland. Just imagine that I had to travel like one hour by bus to internal cafe to play, like at the, from here to the other side of Warsaw. On the beginning, we have just only internet cafes when we played Counter Strike, because no, not everyone had an internet connection at home. I feel that there was a the moment when I was sitting in the internet cafe and I and I saw the news about CPL tournament, where I saw that there is a Swedish team playing against American team in USA for money. I was like, okay. Okay, how, how can I get there? That's how it started rolling for me. I was like, okay, I need to find a team. I need to be the best in Poland. I need then to travel to Europe, to USA. Like, I need to be on these tournaments. I want to beat these guys. On od zawsze właśnie dążył do tego, by być najlepszy. E, I bardzo ciężko znosił porażki. Już no, do najlepszego liceum e, poszedł tam, chciał właśnie dążył do tego, by mieć najlepsze oceny. W każdej dziedzinie, w której zaczął, czy, czy w edukacji, e, czy w sporcie innym niż gry komputerowe, zawsze chciał być najlepszy. Taz and Neo was on the opposite sides. Uh, they were um main gamers and they said you know what okay maybe we do not like each other but together we can play better we can do something with the best teams in the world whatever we did whatever team we have it's always me and neo in it as you can see now we are playing with philip for 11 years together we are the pieces for each other which we are missing to actually achieve success in Counter Strike. When we won the WCG in Monza, Italy, our team was very new. Nobody really expected us to be as good as we became later. And uh, we just destroyed the opposition. We, we went against the best Korean team. We, we beat them. We went against the best Danish team, who were one of the favorites. Then we went to the final to face the Swedish, and they were really strong. We managed to win 2-1, struck the whole world, you know. We are here, okay? Poland is an esports scene, hello. So that, that, that felt really amazing. I myślę, że, że on raczej tak, takim jest patriotą, że z tym zespołem chce zwyciężać dla kraju, raczej pieniądze idą niżej. Raczej on o tym zapomina, tylko jego pasja, pasją jest, żeby zwyciężać, żeby, żeby być w czołówce. I think he's a captain. He's a player who really wants to win. He wants to play in the best team in the world. He wants to be one of the best player in the world. He's a Rambo. What makes a great leader is in Counter Strike or in esports is the same. What you make you makes you a great leader in other things in life. You need to put people in before yourself. I just hope that at the end, uh, when I stop playing, that I will have this feeling of accomplishment. That I will feel that, okay. So in 1.6, when I wanted to become one of the best players, I succeeded. I, I made it happen. And I want to have the same feeling in CSGO, but as I always said, I want to be successful with a team more than I want to be successful as a player. The most important part for me outside of the game is to be good to my family, to take care of my family and friends. I think that that's the most important part in life, is to cherish your family and friends. I told myself that I will retire only if I will not feel the fun 
I want the competition to come back to the old days. I want Neo, I want Forest, Get Right, I want them on top. You know, I want everyone from the golden 1.6 era. I want us to dominate again and I want to be part of it. I just want to prove everyone that even though I lost all my hair, that I can still dominate all the youngsters. I feel like maybe my best years are still ahead of me. At this age, I feel that everything is so clear, like what I want to achieve, where I am, and uh, how I want to do it. I'm here to prove everyone that there is still no age barrier in esports.